Typically with data sets, we can have what's known as a tall and narrow structure or a wide structure. And we can convert between these two structures using pivoting and unpivoting. Now Spotfire has our data canvas, which we use for data wrangling. And in the structuring operations, we'll be able to do this pivoting and unpivoting. So what is unpivoting? I like to describe unpivoting in terms of a weight loss competition. So here I have Sam, Julie, Megan, and Roger each taking a measurement every month for their weight as they measure against each other in this competition. Now, when there's a new month, you're gonna to have to add new columns here, and this can break your structure when you're designing an analysis based off of different columns. So another solution is to use unpivoting. Now, this data table on the right may be harder to read in a spreadsheet. However, it is totally scalable, and we're using Spotfire for our visualization anyways, so we're not reading it in a spreadsheet. So in this data table on the right, we can see month, name and weight and as new measurements come up for new months no new columns are added i just get new rows and i can even add new uh, new years with a year column and this can be completely scalable over time so let's take a look at how this looks inside spotfire with the data canvas now here I'm looking at an air quality data set and I have different pollutants and I have measurements for each of these different pollutants over date and time. So let's say I want to visualize this with a time trend. So I'll just go ahead and add a line chart in here and we can see over time and I have one pollutant here. Now if I want to add another pollutant, I would have to hit the plus sign and I would have to continue doing this and there's not necessarily anything wrong with doing this, but this data set that's time series especially is probably better as a tall and narrow data structure. So in Spotfire in my data canvas, I can go to air quality and I can add a transformation for unpivoting. So I'll go down to unpivot and I'll hit insert. Now here I'll ask me which columns I wanna pass through. So I want date and time to be kept the same down each different row to transfer that through but I'm gonna unpivot all of these different measurements. And I'm gonna call this pollutant, and I'm gonna call the value measurement. And I'll hit okay, and okay. So now this has structured this as a tall and narrow data set. When I go back into Spotfire, these charts are gonna be broken because I have a new data structure. However, if I build my my analysis off this new structure, it's gonna be much easier for me. So for instance, I can go to line chart, and now I can just color this by the pollutant, and all of them are automatically brought in because they're all in different, uh, they're all in the same column as a different uh, measurement of each of those columns. So this is a much better way for working with this type of data. Now there's actually a shortcut way to do this. So let me go ahead and delete this on pivot and go back to the initial state. And when I go to Spotfire, I can go into my data panel and I can select each of these, um, each of these pollutants and I can hit unpivot right there and I'll quickly do that. Now, when I go to my settings, I can see in categories, I can see all of those different pollutants. I can rename this as pollutants and rename the other one as measurements. Now, what if I wanna go the other way and I wanna actually pivot it into something wide? Now, pivoting can be used to make it into a wide data set, but also to aggregate the data. So just to quickly visualize this, I'll use a cross table here and I have each of these pollutants. So let's say I wanted to have this as a date and I wanted to have it as a time and I wanted each of the pollutants to be across the top in different columns. I can hit that, let's maximize this. And now, now I'm back to my original data structure. Um, sum of measurements is here. This aggregation's not gonna matter because there's only one value for each date, time, and pollutant. Now, if I remove the time, now you're gonna have actually a, a, an aggregation of all the values for that date for each pollutant. So an average, and then if I change this to a sum, you'll see those actually changing because it's combining them and collapsing them into one cell. That's an aggregation. So if I wanted to actually structure my data this way, I'm gonna go here into my unpivot uh, or my transformations and I'm just gonna add a transformation here for pivot. And I'm, instead of making a cross table, I can actually just build the data table to be in that format. So for my row identifiers, I can do date, I can do time. For my columns, I'll do my category here um, and I'll, for my values, I'll do the value here, okay? 
So now this is showing the original data uh, in the original format. I can change the naming pattern so I can just use just the column name. And this is that original data structure. If I wanted to, let's say, do the maximum for every day, I could take out time. And then here for aggregations, I can do maximum. And that's giving me the maximum for every day. So by hitting OK and OK, that now takes this data table and structures it with the maximum for each pollutant for every day and aggregates it that way. And I can build my visualization that way. Now, as a final consideration, pivoting and unpivoting operations can be very computationally expensive, especially with large data sets. So if you find yourself using one structure primarily, you might want to store it that way in your data source. And that way it comes in that structure when it gets to Spotfire, and you don't have to reconvert and restructure things every time you build a new analysis. And this can really speed up things and optimize your data flow.